Hello and welcome everyone, I'm Maddles and today I've got game number one of a best of one. It all comes down to this, it's a ladder game between two pretty damn good Protoss players. One of which should be well known to many people after his recent success and good run at WCS EU. And that of course is the red Protoss player down in the bottom left position. It is Elfie. And his opponent up in the top right, the blue Protoss. It is Delkin. So Delkin versus Elfie on Neo Planet S. Quite a small map, um, and yeah, generally speaking, small maps tend to equal quick games. But PVP also tends to equal quick games. Maybe I'll all go crazy. Maybe this will be the PVP on Neo Planet S, where we see Colossi and Tempest, and we have like an hour and a half marathon. I can live to hope. Anyway, Elfie does have a very good PvP, so I think this could be a very interesting match. Um, not quite sure which way it's going to go. Um, we do have, of course, just fairly standard openings from both of them. Neither player doing anything crazy with the pylons. Of course, here in their mains, should be getting out gateways at around the 12 supply mark. Um, gateways should get started up, and there we go. Right on the money, both players starting it up, 12 supply, boom. So, good standard things. Gas timing is the big thing we want to keep a lookout for, though. As we all know, one gas equals aggressive, two gases with two in each equals fairly standard, two gases with three probes in each equals tech heavy, probably one base play. So obviously things to look out for, there's a second gas coming down here for Elfie, no second gas yet though from Delkin. So obviously I say one gas equals aggressive, it's not always the way, um, it can just be one gas and then into a slightly later second gas, that's a possibility. But just generally speaking, you tend to get a lot of the time seeing that one gas can lead into things like three gate pressure, which is a very strong build. Now, we see that Elfie just moving out with this probe at the moment. Currently, Delkin hasn't moved forward at all, has no idea what Elfie's doing, and that could just lead to proxies coming down somewhere. Proxy Stargate on Neo Planet S isn't uncommon at all, but not probably going to be coming down because only two probes in each gas guys are there at the moment for Elfie. Meanwhile, Delkin just starting up his second gas, so it could still be quite a tech heavy play. Elfie just going to come in, going to see that there's three probes in gas. If he clicks on it, we'll know exactly how much has been mined, but isn't going to worry too much. Just comes in, sees the second gas taken, and that's a good little indicator. Meanwhile, Elfie just still sitting with four probes in gas, so he's got slightly higher gas income at the moment, but it's now going to get slightly lower due to the fact that obviously three and three. Warp Gate Tech is coming down. The Chrono Boost not yet been spent, and that's ideally what Elfie wants to try and get a little look at. If he sees a Chrono Boost come down on, say, the Cyber Core or anything like that, he's going to know what's coming. He's also keeping an eye out for what tech is thrown down, because Delkin remember has got a decent amount now is going to get seen yeah there's the chrono boost on the warp gate tech spotted really important to know that that's coming out because that lets elfie know that okay any tech is now going to be slightly later it's not like he's banking up chrono boost to get out an oracle proxied really fast or anything scary like that meanwhile back at home you see that elfie himself chrono boosting down on that warp gate tech his mothership core just out he went for a zealot first um, both players did actually but delkin has his stalker there as well no tech as of yet from either of them although I'm expecting to see some tech fairly soon, but it looks like Delkin at least and Elfie too, both going to be expanding simultaneously. Both their gas incomes fairly similar and opting to get a sentry on both sides rather than teching up to be able to be a little bit safer when trying to secure that. Now Elfie's probe has come back, no losses on either side at the moment. Both players keeping their mothership calls back at home as opposed to trying to scout in and get some information. So very passive game very macro orientated and we're definitely going to be getting into somewhat of the later stages perhaps some confidence being granted by the fact that this is a narrow entrance into the natural and therefore a bit easier to control and secure this base with so additional gases now coming down for Elfie this is the first aggressive step three gates is able to push out a lot of units meanwhile just one additional gate coming down here for Delkin which suggests that he's quite likely to try and chuck down some tech be it a Robo Bay be it a Twilight Council Elfie as well getting up his robotic space straight away so this means that he's going to be spending a lot on getting units out. Could be going for a nice push. There's Delkin, of course, getting down his Stargate, ready to start putting on a little bit of pain. The Mothership Core, just sitting around. Hallucinated Phoenix, this is really important right now for Elfie. If this Hallucinated Phoenix sees the Stargate, big win for him, because he straight away knows what his opponent's doing. And Delkin is still somewhat playing in the dark. Hasn't scouted at all, as far as I'm aware. This Hallucinated Phoenix making its way forward is going to fly straight over those two sentries and the Stalker, but it is able to sneak through. He sees the Stargate. 
sees the forge as well. Such a money, money scout coming down from this Phoenix. And Elfie, completely aware of his opponents are doing. Whereas if we look at the vision of Delkin, we can see he's got absolutely no clue. He has no knowledge. Immediately the Stargate, double Stargate coming down from Elfie. Because he knows he'll be slightly behind in Phoenix production, but wants to keep that air dominance. And there we go. Phoenix came out, but it was instantly cancelled. What is Delkin planning? Well... Very interesting, getting plus one down, now starting up a void way. So, a bit different to what, of course, Elfie probably was expecting, which was going to be that fast Phoenix, but will mean that the void way is going to be able to do some good damage against Stalkers if they come out. But for the moment, we can see clearly that Elfie just sitting there pumping out Zealots and Sentries. No Stalkers as of yet. The Hallucinate Phoenix for Delkin going to come in, going to spot that double Stargate as well as the Robotics Facility. Important scout for Delkin there, who really now knows exactly how Elfie's trying to counter. The Twilight Counts are coming down. So far, both players still losing no resources this game at all. Completely passive. Twilight Council, of course, will allow Blink to come out, will allow plus two to get started. And there's additional two gateways taking Delking up to four. Elfie taking the additional gases. Still, both players being relatively passive. Um, the first two Phoenix are about to pop out, though. And this is where things can get pretty fun. The Void Ray. Wait, what? The Void Ray got cancelled as well? What is happening here for Delkins? Okay, so he clearly saw those two Phoenix getting made and thought, you know what? I can't get this void away anymore. Cancels it. And that means that the hallucinated Phoenix for Elfie is going to see, hang on, where is all of your tech? What is coming down? I know you've got that Twilight Council researching Blink. I know you've got plus one and you're adding on these two additional gates. But what? That Stargate has now been completely wasted. But it did force the double Stargate production out of Elfie, who's now going up to four Phoenix, is starting the fifth and sixth one too. This gives him the ability to harass. But more importantly, that's going to be six lifts. If we engage now, for example, with those six Phoenix, he could pick up all of the Stalkers. And suddenly, Elfie has just such an advantage on the ground. Blink is done, mind you, though. So that's going to help. More gateways coming down, as well as the Templar Archive. Super fast High Templar going to be on the cards right now for Delkin. And these two, because they're being so passive, are just able to spend all of their money on getting out as much tech and as many units as possible. So there's the Void Ray getting restarted. Also, the first Void Ray for Elfie getting started now as he moves out with these Phoenix. There is a cannon in the mineral line of Delkin, but Elfie going to start moving in, going to try and get some lifts, but the Stalk's in a great position to really try and stop this. The Phoenix being forced back. One probe going to get taken out. We'll see the cannon there, but not before a couple of the probes get taken down. Phone overcharge is triggered too. One of these Stalkers tries to get lifted up, but a Phoenix dies in the process. Probably not the greatest thing Elfie could have lost there, but Delkin, he's only lost 150 resources, but they were all, of course, from those probes. So probe kills count three are down for Delkin at the moment, but Elfie... He's just ready to start picking up anything else. Oh, some sentries could get picked off here. That would be a bit problematic. The Mothership Core as well is very exposed. Is going to go down. And, of course, these Phoenix, even though they get a feedback on them, will be able to escape. Very problematic. Sees the third coming down from Delkin as well. Elfie, now with a decent Void Ray production. Already got two out. Four. Third and fourth are on the way as well. Means that he's getting the air dominance against these Stalkers. Even Blink Stalkers will do quite well. But the Archons are going to be critically important for Delkin. Of course, Archons, not armored, really deal effectively with Void Rays in PvP. But the third... This is the big thing. If Delkin can secure that third and keep it up, he's going to get a great economy going. With, of course, Storm coming down, the High Templar on the field. Shouldn't have too much to worry about, but a great little pick up there. These Phoenix being used so effectively, and suddenly Delkin losing a lot of stuff thanks to these Phoenix of Elfie. And Elfie, even spotting the proxy pylon, there is going to be a warp in of Zealots, but of course the Phoenix, they can come over, they can start lifting some of them, start picking them out. These are all free units now for Elfie, and this is exactly what he wants. The army of Delkin going to come over to try and defend this, but a good number already getting taken out. Now five times more cost effective pretty much compared to that of his opponent. Elfie is going to be very happy with these trades so far, and can even come in to try and harass a bit more. There is a photon cannon trying to be placed at the natural, but it wasn't down. Had Elfie just gone straight in for it, he still sees that the third has now finished. He's got a decent number of void ways. The fifth and sixth one about to pop out. Plus, of course, the Twilight Council for Elfie himself, uh, Templar Archives now finishing up, brother, means that he can start up storms and start getting some of his own Archons, and that's going to really be helpful. Only three Phoenix remain on the field after flying over this army, but yeah, it's the third. That's the big difference. Delkin ahead 53 to 49 workers, but. Still, Elfie being a little bit more cost effective. Going to come in, re scout. Going to see that the Chrono Boost coming down on the Templar Archives and also on the Forge. So, knows that Storm has just finished up. The odd probe that 
out of position, could get taken down, but two cannons there. Elfie needs to be paying attention, does pull back his Phoenix while moving forward with this Void Ray Force. So currently upgrades a 1-1 one, one on both sides for ground charge. Now on its way out here for Delkin as well. But he's got the Archons, he's got those High Templar with Storm, but can it do enough? The Void Ray starting to move forward. They need to make sure that they focus the Stalkers. Hallucinated Colossi are coming out, but how much damage can these Void Rays do? They need to make sure that they're focusing the Stalkers as quickly as possible and not the other units. The Archons dealing some good damage, and that means that we're blind forward suddenly Delkin LG some nice damage but has he overextended as the void race cut through those stalkers very quickly the Archons though don't really take much damage at all from these void ways and that really isn't what Elfie would have wanted so Delkin definitely came off better in that fight Elfie losing about 700 more resources than that of his opponent and of course now is on the back foot the void ray count getting knocked down quite a lot lower and the third base of Elfie suddenly looking at a bit of problems yes Elfie has charge whereas Delkin doesn't but there's just these Archons out here are they going to be enough to make up the difference with Stalkers coming in from the back for Elfie for Delkin as well Elfie Zealots doing some nice damage on the front lines and Elfie's Archons definitely helping but the trade still going in Delkin's favour. Elfie definitely looking to be in a lot of problems here. The cannons trying to come down more. Archons trying to morph in for Elfie at the moment. But will it be enough? One Archon gets taken down there. Good engagement. But more units come the, from the back for Delkin. is still coming forward. Elfie, he needs to keep up this third. If it goes down, he's going to be in a very tough spot because his economy is already slightly worse, being at 53 to 58 workers of Delkin. But Delkin now with the ninja warping from the back and again Archon and two Zealots can certainly come and try and do a little bit of pain but for the moment just falling back doesn't want to take too many risks he's got proxy pylons all over the map and these three Phoenix for Elfie just really haven't done much at all so Elfie definitely needs to start stepping this up making sure he's trading more cost effectively he's lost a lot more gas than his opponent critically and of course Delkin still pushing in the Archons leading the charge the charge shots need to get some good engagements on both sides a couple of good storms could be devastating and speaking of which the weather is not looking good for Elfie at the moment as Delkin gets those connections he needs. Archon on Archon fights are coming down. The Phoenix now coming forward. Gonna just try and pick up some of these units of Delkin to really negate the effectiveness. Delkin is now not in the best spot. He's losing these Stalkers. He's losing these Archons and Elfie is going to force him back with the greater army supply. But Elfie is still putting on the pain. He's still trying to trade. Delkin is losing all of these units, which wasn't the greatest trade for him. These two Archons did manage to stay up as well, remember. But Delkin securing up that fourth Nexus behind all of this. He's got his third up and running and has done for a while. He's still ahead. 65 to 49 probes. That's a huge lead for Delkin. And that's giving him just such a massive amount more income than that of Elfie. But... Elfie's still producing a decent number of units. He's still pumping out those High Templar, getting those Archons in, more Zealots out. The upgrades are currently sitting at 2-0 compared to 1-0 in Elfie's favour. So that's only a small little lead, but it's enough to make a difference. And Oh, sorry, I completely mislooked at that. It's 3-0 to 2-0 in Delkin's favour. So Delkin here, with the upgrade lead as well as plus one ground armor on its way out, is certainly getting himself into a good spot. Notice neither player has built a single Colossus this game at all, instead opting for this Archon heavy composition and Void Rays. And, well, with the upgrade advantage, Delkin definitely going to be able to trade quite nicely. The army supply is heavily in Elfie's favor, though, 51 to 33. This trade, the uh, model at the back, not going to be able to do too much. It's all about the Archons. More coming in here for Elfie, too. But the upgrade advantage is without doubt still there for Delking, and he's going to be able to force this back. Did lose a couple of Archons in the process, but Elfie only a very slight army supply, now actually exactly equal army supply as that of his opponent, but fourth base up and running now for Delking just means that his economy can keep getting better and better and better. Both players mining a similar amount at the moment, but that's just because this fourth base hasn't yet got saturated. Three probes at a time coming out from Delkin here. He's going to be trying to get this economy, getting the probe transfer on its way down there too, perfectly safely, because Elfie doesn't even know that it's down for the moment. And if we take a look at Elfie's vision, for example, oh no, Elfie has seen it. Okay, so he's just not trying to punish it. He knows the two cannons are there, but doesn't feel confident moving up to the top of the map. Plus three ground weapons coming down for Elfie, but that isn't even going to level up the upgrades because plus one armor is now done for Delking. And Elfie, he's not even ahead in army supply in this engagement, which is going to make it a bit harder, but the Phoenix coming in can negate quite a lot of the damage if they want to. But they need to start focusing stuff down fairly quick. Pick up the Immortal of Storm is being used by Delkin, but Elfie now pushing forward. He is losing quite a few units, but the Archon's critically still up. The Immortal gets taken down, and of course Delkin now 
just trying to do anything and everything he can to trade well. Three Archons against two. The Zealots for Elfie being walked in very, very quickly. And that's causing a bit of a problem. The Immortal gets taken down by those Phoenix too. So Army Supply suddenly massively in Elfie's favour. Things not looking too good for Delki at the moment. It's only these two Immortal Archons are able to keep the trade going. And of course, one of them very low on shields. Pretty dodgy looking, but... Elfie, he's still being forced back, he's waiting for this next big warp in, and six zealots are going to start making their way forward, up against though a lot of stalkers for Delking, and I don't think Elfie is going to be able to end this quite yet, but that was a much better trade for him, only now losing about a thousand more resources than that of Delking, but Elfie, his economy is still struggling, he's about 500 minerals a minute down on his opponent, because his main base is pretty much mined out, and he doesn't have a fourth yet, that's going to be hurting, so... Elfie, the clock is on him. He's busy trying to get out plus three. Remember, it's 3-1 up against 2-0 at the moment still. So this is a big upgrade lead to, uh, well, Delking. And that's why these trades, even when he's got less army supply, he's somehow managing to hold this off. It's all down to the upgrades. Elfie, going to try and pick off this void. He does manage to do so, but this is where most of the action sits. Is Elfie going to be able to break this position? He's got to be careful. These charge shots all need to engage at the same time. He needs to make sure that a couple of good storms aren't able to be achieved. And of course, Storm is now ready for Delkin. This could be pretty bad, especially against those Zealots if they go down at the back. And that's exactly what we're going to be starting to see. Storms being utilized. The Archons on both sides. The Phoenix on the back, though, of Elfie do pick up a good amount of the army, preventing it from engaging. Plus three weapons has also finished for the Red Protoss player, and that is leveling out the upgrade slightly, but plus two armor done for Delkin. Archon on Archon, the Stalkers may just tip it, though, into Delkin's favor. Elfie losing these Archons pretty damn rapidly. The Stalkers dealing some good damage, but a big wave of warp Once more coming through here. The Archons on both sides absolutely critical, but the extra upgrade on armor for Delkin seems to be making a good little bit of difference, but he's got to be so careful not to overextend. His Archon staying up is critically important, and Elfie knows that he's lost that without a fourth base. GG is out, and Delkin is able to take the game in what was a 23 minute long PvP. So, the big thing there was, of course, Delkin with that fourth base just had the money to keep pumping it and the upgrade advantage, but wow. I really enjoyed that. If you did, make sure you like the video, leave a cool comment, and of course subscribe. And I'll be back tomorrow with yet another new cast. Thanks for watching. I'm Maddles. Bye for now.